my daddy was a gardener. His mom was a gardener. Uh, when I was a little boy, I used to go to grandma's garden and, and everything grew there. It was just a wonderful thing. And, and so my dad grew up gardening. And when I was little, he started a garden at our house as well. And I didn't really get into it too much until I was in college. But then I started getting interested in gardening and growing things. And ever since then, I've always had gardens. Even when I lived in apartment complexes, I'd have a little garden, maybe a two foot square garden. And and grow a pepper plant and a tomato plant and, and but then I realized I could grow some of my lettuces indoors and there's all kinds of ways to garden you can there's a great book called the square foot gardener that, that was written a long time ago but for people who are still using that excuse you can grow a lot of garden in a square foot I went to a friend's house and he grows all his lettuce for his entire family in his kitchen in in a on a piece of wood the size of a sheet of plywood, he built a box the size of a sheet of plywood, filled it with earth, put grow lights over the top. He plants a few heads of lettuce every single day and he harvests a few heads of lettuce every single day and he's got a couple of hundred heads of lettuce growing in that patch at all times. It's a thing of beauty. It can be done. I'm, I'm huge on gardening. I really think growing food, uh, whether it's fruits or vegetables, whichever end of that you want to get into or both, is, is a great thing. I've, I've been moved many times in my life when I'm picking food off of trees, especially fruit trees where I started the seed and then planted the plant and then eventually nurtured it until it finally gave us a harvest. And when you pick that first fruit off of a tree that's been growing for 7, 10, 14 years before it finally gives you the fruit and you go, wow, this is just spectacular that that can happen and it's going to give fruit for the next 100 years. It's quite an experience. Somebody had a plant the trees in order for us to eat the fruit that we all love so much now we need to plant the trees so that people can harvest in the future uh, the the quality of seeds and the the nature of seeds is being played with by a lot of companies we want to keep going with the seeds that will produce uh, true heirloom varieties on through through the rest of history there's people trying to control our seeds and and we want to make sure to make sure to have that seed stock and to teach the children about gardening. I, I, I take my daughter out in the garden and we get our hands dirty or sometimes wear gloves, depends on the nature of the job. But but getting out to actually see how how plants are grown and she loves growing flowers, she loves growing food. Over the years I, I've been moved many times by the number of people who who would come out and pick an orange or pick a coconut or pick a date or pick something off a tree and go this is the first time they've ever picked food in their entire life they've never actually seen a tomato growing on a tomato plant let alone had the experience of picking it and eating it or not even picking it just bringing the plant over to them and biting that biting that raspberry off or biting that little cherry tomato right off the plant they've never seen food where it grows this is a huge disconnect that, that we don't want to experience as part of 801010. I think it's a, a big deal, not only to learn about growing food and where does your food come from and who's doing the work to grow your food and appreciating all the steps and stages that go from growing food to getting it to the table. I've got a friend in Florida who has, who has huge gardens in Florida and what he's taken to doing now is he's growing enough food so that he can harvest it in the evening and get it to his own market that he runs every every Saturday. Um, and then you can say, look, this food was picked either yesterday evening or this morning. I had to drive three hours and then here it is at the market, fresh picked produce. There's more of that happening all the time. People are seeing that fresh really does matter. And to me, fresh obviously is a huge issue. Uh, so. I want to teach the next generation and the one after that how to garden. We get a lot of our food here at Cedro Woolley from a gardener who's 70 years old. But I want to start getting it from gardeners who are 20 years old and enthusiastic and, and can learn the techniques and the biodynamic techniques that he's using in order to even have more insights and better insights. They can springboard off what he does and make the food even better. Because you can taste the quality of the food. It's well worth growing food. It's a connection. I'm not expecting the uh, proverbial dung to hit the fan necessarily, but you know, should there be hard times, you need to know how to produce food. Meanwhile, 
It's always a pleasure. The best food I've ever eaten every single time came straight out of somebody's garden, either my own or somebody else's. I can't compare any other food I've ever had and said, oh, it was better than something. I can, I can think of every kind of food that I've ever eaten and go, the best I've ever had came straight out of somebody's garden. So happy gardening to you.